All right, welcome everybody. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between an access port and a trunk port, and also what this native VLAN is. So, an access port on a Cisco switch is it allows one VLAN to traverse it, and it removes any tags as it as traffic leaves an interface. The Cisco switch will remove any dot one Q tags or ISL tags. Now a trunk port, it allows multiple VLANs to traverse it and it adds a tag as frames leave that interface. And since you can have multiple VLANs traversing this trunk port, there's this thing called the native VLAN where any traffic that is specified in the native VLAN is not tagged across the trunk. And any untagged traffic that is received on that interface, it is assumed to be part of that native VLAN. Okay. So I've got a simple topology here. Uh, PC1 and PC2, they are on VLAN 10. PC3 and PC4, they are part of VLAN 20. And this is a trunk port allowing all VLANs. This is an access port. This is an access port, access port, access port. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some Wireshark captures and view this dot one Q tag going on. So let me do some filters real quick. Not selected. And let's go to PC2 and let's ping the other side. Ping 10.0.0.1. All right, it's working. Now if I go to Wireshark, we can see we have some requests and we have some replies. If you open that up, you get to see this is pretty much the TCP IP layers. Uh, this is pretty much layer uh, one, layer two, and then you also get to see here is a tag that is in the layer two header. If you open that up, look at that ID. That ID tag says 10. Why? Because PC2 is part of VLAN 10. If we look at the configurations of switch two, we see that Ethernet 01 is an access port and it allows VLAN 10. So when PC2 sends traffic through switch 2, switch 2 sees it as an access port and says, oh, you're part of VLAN 10. Where do you need to go? You need to go this way. So since I'm leaving this interface, I'm going to tag it because it is now a trunk port and it's going to be tagged with that VLAN 10. Same thing with VLAN or uh, with PC4. If I were to go to PC4, ping the other side 20001, go back to Wireshark, here they are. Now that ID tag is 20. Okay, and if I go back to switch 2. you get to see that Ethernet 0 slash 0, it is in trunking mode and it is using the 802.1Q encapsulation protocol. Okay. Now, what happens if I turn this Ethernet 0, 0 into a switch port? I'm sorry, an access port and only allow VLAN 10 to traverse it and then it's going to remove tags. How is that going to affect PC4. Well, since PC4 is part of VLAN 20, it is not allowed to traverse this access port because it's going to be specified for VLAN 10. So let's go ahead and do that. This, switch to, config T, Ethernet E0 slash 0, switch port, mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. And let's do that for the other side. Config T, Ethernet E0 slash 0, switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10. All right. So now the link between switch 1 and 2, it's an access port, which means it only allows one VLAN and there's, there should be no tag. So let's go to PC2 and let's ping PC1. Okay, it's working. Let's go back to Wireshark. Look at this ping from PC2 to PC1. There is no tag, no tag. 
Now if we go to PC4, which it used to work when we had a trunk link, let's ping the other side. It's not working. It's because this link right here only allows VLAN 10 to traverse it. Okay, so again, do a show run, and here you can see it's part of VLAN 10. If we change this to VLAN 20, now PC3 and PC4 will work, and PC1 and PC2 will not work. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure I do this on the other side as well. Switch port, access VLAN 20, and then go to this switch. Switch port, access VLAN 20. And we need to make sure that this is the root for spanning tree. Spanning tree, priority zero. And let's see if PC4 can work now. And it does. Go to Wireshark still no tag okay and PC2 shouldn't work anymore all right and it's not it's because of setting these ports to access or trunk now when you do this in a real in a real lab or or even on a live environment you have to understand what an access port is doing and what a trunk port is doing. And that native VLAN, it's just a special VLAN in, uh, special VLAN that's allowed on the trunk port that is not tagged. Every other uh, VLAN that's allowed to traverse it is tagged. And how do you verify what the native VLAN is on a trunk? Um, you have to do the show interface trunk command and let me put these interfaces back into a trunk so we could see that switch port trunk encapsulation dot one key switch port mode trunk do that to the other side switch port trunk encapsulation dot one key switch port mode trunk Show spanning tree. It's blocking. And let's flap the link. Make sure I do this on the other side. Okay. Okay. Now we should work. So if we do a show interface trunk command, we get to see that Ethernet 0 slash 0 is a trunk. Mode is on. Encapsulations one q we are trunking, and the native VLAN is 1. So go back to our pings real quick. We should see those tags back on. And we do, VLAN 20. But if we were to put a port into VLAN 1, then um, we should not see a tag across this trunk. And let me do that for PC1 and PC2. So Ethernet E0 slash 1. E0 slash 1, switch port, access VLAN 1. Do the same thing for the other side. What was I just on? 2. Let's go to 1. And make sure that PC2 could ping PC1. not reachable it's not reachable yet because spanning tree is doing its thing probably should have put port fast on it but all right now we're good to go so now PC 2 should ping and it is if we go back to Wireshark 
we see that it is allowed on that trunk, but there's no tag. Okay. So this concludes the difference between an access port and a trunk port and what this native VLAN is. Again, simply access port allows one VLAN to traverse it, removes any tags. Trunk port allows multiple VLANs to traverse it and it adds tags. Native VLAN is just a VLAN that is sent across a trunk link, untagged, and any traffic received on that port that does not have a tag on it, it's assumed to be part of the native VLAN. So I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.